Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm checking out the Crafton Lord 2-bit wallet. Let's check it out. So let's take out the 2-bit by Craft and Lore right there. I love these pouches. And I'll give you guys a nice close-up of the 2-bit by Craft and Lore. And while you guys are checking this out, Let's talk about some of the features. The 2-Bit is an ultra-minimal card wallet, hand-stitched from full grain leather. And it's available in multiple colors, but the color that I have right here is the limited edition Black Sage Ghost. So this particular version is made from 3.5 ounce Italian leather. It can hold up to five or six credit cards and some cash in its two pockets. And if the 2-Bit looks familiar to you, it's because it's basically a stripped down version of Craft & Lore's port wallet. The hand saddle stitching is guaranteed for life and it's made right here in the USA, North Idaho to be exact. So that's enough of the quick features. Let's talk dimensions. So the 2-Bit has a width of three inches and a length of 4.25 inches. And I couldn't find the weight on the website, but by my weight test, it weighs 0.9 ounces that's only 26 grams. All right, so let's check out the limited edition Black Sage Ghost 2-Bit by Craft & Lore here. Now, obviously it didn't come like this. It took me about three weeks of carrying this to make it look this awesome. And yes, I said awesome because I am absolutely a huge fan of the way this is turning out here. So if you're not familiar with Craft & Lore's Ghost wallets, they're basically black wallets like this with a black waxy exterior. And over time, while you're carrying it, the black wears away and it reveals whatever color they have underneath. And this one is that sage color and check that out. Yes, this is about three weeks worth of wear. I just took this out to the Adirondack Mountains and did a lot of trails with this thing in my pocket. So maybe it's a little more worn out than it should be, but it doesn't matter because <laughs> I'm loving how this is looking right now. Yes, I did take a few pictures of what this looked like brand new and I'll throw that on the screen right now. You can see it's just all black and then three weeks later, this is what you're gonna get. And now I'll give you guys a nice close up of that hand saddle stitching here. Everything looks great. And as I mentioned earlier, this stitching is guaranteed for life. And then I'll give you guys a nice look at the burnishing here. These guys do great work. And if you can't already tell, I'm a big fan of this wallet. It's just an ultra minimal card wallet that's basically a port wallet, which I did do a review on and I was a fan of that wallet as well. And of course the port wallet has a continuation of this piece of leather that folds around the back and then right around here to the front. But if you're looking to go ultra minimal, this is the way to go. I've been carrying six cards around with me with some cash in this little pocket here and you barely know this is in your pocket. And now let's check out the functionality here and it's pretty straightforward. I have six flat demo cards here and yeah, just fits nice and snug right here in that back pocket as you can see. But check this out, they say between five and six cards and look at all the room I still have left in here. So I've been carrying six cards with me. I've been carrying my most used credit card right here in that front card pocket. And it's been working out great for me. If you need quick access to a credit card, you're gonna love this front pocket here. And just like any other wallet, if you need access to these back cards, you just pull them out and do the fan method. And if you're wondering how tight these cards are while they're in the wallet, since they're open like this, if I do a quick shake test, you can see they're pretty snug in there. And if you're a cash carrier, I have three American dollar bills here. So we can fold those into quarters. And what I've been doing, I've been stuffing them right behind my cards in that back pocket there and tucked right out of the way. But that's only because I carry cash for emergency purposes only. If you use cash on a daily basis, just use this front pocket for your bills. And you can see I was doing that for a while. See that little crease of sage right there? That's because I had my bills in that front pocket and I've been folding that over to get access to them. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Stuff them in there as so and you can see you can barely even see your bills just a little piece sticking up right there and if you need to grab it fold over that little piece of leather and grab your bills out so would i recommend the two bit from craft and lore <laughs> yes absolutely it's an extremely minimal wallet but 
it's still functional. And I think it looks great, especially if you guys go with this limited edition Black Sage Ghost. I believe the Black Sage Ghost is sold out right now, but they always have new colors of this black ghosting available. The regular 2-bit wallet goes for about 45 bucks, but the limited edition, the one right here, goes for about 55 So it's a $10 upcharge. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the 2-bit wallet from Craft & Lore? If you guys want to check this out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!